some people in this world just love books. And Reuben, the man who fixed broken books, was one of them. And since Reuben loved books, it wasn't surprising that books loved him. People always brought him books that were damaged and needed repair. Reuben fixed them. And so, nearly every morning, people would see Reuben carrying a load of damaged books to his little bookshop where the books got fixed. His broken bookshop. But this wasn't an ordinary bookshop because the books in the broken bookshop talked to Reuben. Oh, my cover! My pages. Can you fix me, Reuben? My spine is broken, Reuben. I need your help. Reuben, I'll roll back my cover so you can see the awful mess somebody made of my first page. Can you help me? Reuben fixed books that had all sorts of things wrong with them. Reuben loved books. He wanted books to live forever because they had so many good things to say. Reuben, I think the glue dried overnight and my new cover is stuck on tight. Reuben, I think the little book is right. Your glue really does a fine job. Better have a look at our friend in the press. A brand new cover for you. How do you like it? Love it! We all love being fixed. I can breathe again. And people can read me again. People just don't know how to take care of us, folks. All people? Well, the people who owned me didn't. And just look around here in the broken bookshop. Look at all of us poor, hurt books. Oh, the terrible stories we could tell. Look at my burned friend here. My torn and ripped friend next to her. And their stories aren't as bad as the awful story of what happened to me. Once I lived in a nice house with a girl and her brother. Now, I was new, not like the other books I saw, and what a mess they were. Somebody in this house didn't know how to take care of books. At first, I was safe. I was on the bed. But she knew I was there. Oh, the terrible things that had been done to books in that room. I can't bear to think about it now. I just hoped I wouldn't be treated that way. But I was worried. Then her brother came in. I'm gonna read you the book on the bed. He picked me up. He opened me gently and smoothed down my pages. <laughs> that felt so good. He turned my pages from the top so they wouldn't tear. He knew how to take care of a book. In the broom closet of a house by a... I hoped his sister knew how to take care of a book the way he did. I just loved having my pages turned by him. I thought if he was the one who always held me, then I'd never have to worry at all. The children of the house love books. They would read them during the day, and Benjamin would chew on the book covers. It was wonderful, until... And he gave me to her. At first, it looked like things were going to be all right, but then... Supper's ready! She didn't even look for a bookmark. She folded my page. But that wasn't the worst thing that happened to me. First, she left me on the floor. I saw a lot of places I could have been put. But I couldn't get there by myself. And then, the dog came in. I didn't know which way to go. And then the dog found me. Now I knew why some of the other books looked like they'd been chewed on. They had. By the dog. The dog liked books. And the dog liked me best of all.
you can see what the dog did to me. I really need fixing now. So Reuben fixed broken books. Every few days he'd pack some that he fixed in a box and take them where people could read them. The books couldn't wait to be read again. Sometimes a book would even try to get into the box before it had been fixed. And the fixed books didn't like that at all. Reuben, there's a book in the box who isn't fixed yet. Shh, be quiet. I want people to read me. No one will read you the way you are. Let Reuben fix you. But I want people to read me. They will. They will just give Reuben a chance. He knows what he's doing. Reuben, Reuben, look in the box. Look who's here with us. No, 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 you can't come along. You're not ready yet. You're too messy to go the way you are. Well, maybe Reuben will fix me next. How'd you get all stained like that? Oh, it was terrible. Tell us how you got so messed. We're all interested. All right. But it makes me very sad every time I think of what happened. <laughs> It was early one special morning. A boy was making breakfast for his mother on her birthday. And I was on the tray, a present from him and his cousin. I was a new book then, proud of my clean pages and my beautiful cover. And somebody was going to read me soon. Oh, I could hardly wait. Then he remembered something and left the kitchen. And his cousin came in. She wanted to help with the surprise, too, I suppose. But she... Oh, I don't want to even think about it. It was awful. Awful. Oh, I, I was all sticky and stained. She just thought it was funny the way I was jumping around. But I knew nobody would want to read me now. And here I am, all sticky with jam. I hope Reuben can really fix me. He fixed me good as new. He'll fix you too, partner. Just give him a chance. <laughs> hey, you should have seen me when I came in. Look at me now. Now I can make people laugh again. <laughs> Now, a boy named Andy would borrow books Hi, from Reuben. Hi, Andy. I brought you your book back. I liked it a lot. Well, would you like something else? Uh, what about, uh, adventure? No. Oh, uh, something funny? Yeah. <laughs> I got just what you want. Me! Me! Shush, I don't lie down. Yeah, maybe you'd like that. <laughs> so Andy took the book of funny riddles. He read it all afternoon and took it to soccer practice that evening. What kind of insect gets A's in school? I don't know. A spelling bee. <laughs> what is easy to get into but hard to get out of? I don't know. Trouble. What's he doing all these riddles? I have a riddle book. It's in my book bag. Well, Andy's friend took the book out of the bag, but Andy didn't notice. They practiced for a while. Then they all went home. Somebody turned on a sprinkler. That was good for the grass, but not for the riddle book that had been left behind. Help! Do you think you can fix it? Uh, I don't know. We can only try. I feel so bad. I love books. 
And look what I did. Reuben could see that Andy really cared about books. And that gave him an idea. You know, I've decided to get some summer help. Would you like the job? Yeah. I've got a delivery to make. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 